right, we're here with Keith DeCandido, the writer of the Farscape Ongoing. As you can see right here, we're here at the Boom Booth. So uh, why don't you tell us what's coming up with Farscape? Quite a bit, actually. We're uh, in both the Farscape Ongoing series that I'm writing and the Scorpius uh, series that David Allen Mack is scripting, both of us working in collaboration with Rockney O'Bannon. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got storylines developing in the comics that are coming out over the course of this summer, mm -hmm. which are leading to a very big year-long event. Basically, year two of the ongoing series is going to be the war for the uncharted territories. Nice. Yeah, and it's going to be a massive, big thing. <laughs> um, huge cluster for Elf, shall we say. Yep, yep, and, yep. And um, uh, it's, it's, I just got the plot for it uh, mm -hmm. as I was flying out here to San Diego. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I've already finished writing issue 12. Issue 9, we just uh, debuted here at the show. I see. And um, so, I'm, you know, obviously I'm a little ahead, but yep, yep. Uh, the, the, the compulsion storyline that starts in issue 9 is a major game changer. Oh, okay. Uh, and that leads into the big, uh, the big story. Can you give away any things that are going to happen to the main characters? Um, or nothing specific, but uh -huh. um, I can certainly say in issue 12, mm -hmm. something happens to one of the main characters that is pretty much the last thing anybody expected. I see. Um, and will blow people's minds. <laughs> At least I hope it does. What's it like collaborating with Rocky O'Bannon? It's great. He's, he is so much fun to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, very creative, really has wonderful ideas, and, and um, he's, he's good to bounce ideas off because like, he'll come up with something in the plot and then I'll throw something at him and he'll say, oh yeah, and then he can, and like, it feeds on each other. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I mean, he, he, he knows these characters, he loves these characters, and he's, he's doing a really good job of keeping it moving forward while still trying, staying true to what came before. I um, see. And it's been... And he's just, he's just got really... He, he writes really good stories, mm -hmm. you know? This is, mm -hmm. this is what he's particularly good at. And uh, that's why he makes his living at it. <laughs> um, he's, uh, and he's still doing it. He actually... Uh, Rockney just uh, joined the writing staff of B. Oh, okay. Yeah, starting with awesome. the second season. Mm -hmm. so, but he's still committed to working on this. Okay, so, okay. So, uh, you know, like I said, he just did the plot for the entire... Sorry. I almost knocked down my books. I just <laughs> I'm from New York and I'm an Italian. This is how it works. Of course. Um, and so we're, we've got a lot... Uh, He's really, he's really just doing a wonderful job of, of moving the story forward. That's so. great. So is it going to keep moving forward in continuity, or are you going to go back and tell any untold tales anymore about Dargo or For anything the moment, like that? We did, we did our Dargo trilogy, and yeah. that, that, that did okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there are any plans to go back mm -hmm. beyond that. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we, we filled in some gaps with Dargo, but it's, there seems to be more interest in moving forward. Oh, okay. You know? I mean, okay. it's fun to go back and fill in the gaps, and we, and we may revisit that. Yeah, we find that we're not you know, closing the door on anything. Mm -hmm. But the main focus is on post Peacekeeper War stuff. So. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, you know, Are there any other past characters you're itching to introduce oh, that yeah, haven't I, been in the comics yet? Tons. I would yeah. love to do Zan's backstory. I would love mm -hmm. to do Crace when he went off with Talon. Mm -hmm. We didn't see him for most of the second season. What were he and Talon doing all that time? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. That's that's something in particular I would love to explore, because that, that dynamic mm -hmm. with that character. Crace was one of the more interesting characters on the show. Yeah, good job. And, um, so that's you know those are certainly ones. What Jaffe went through mm -hmm. after after Dargo had to um, abandon him, mm -hmm. uh, and then when he, you know we eventually found him as a slave. What did he go through? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, there's all sorts of possibilities there. Uh, that's cool. But we also we want to keep moving forward. Also, you know, sometimes it's fun to you know it's more fun to just keep plowing ahead. Mm -hmm. Do you think people would have had to have watched a lot of the series to get into the comics, or, can, or do you think the comics? I think are just if, if they're familiar with the series, it should be fine. We try to mm -hmm. keep people, you know, up to speed on, on what's going on. Okay. Um, and actually, with issue nine, we started doing a previously on Farscape in the inside front cover, just so uh, just to remind people where we are and to catch them up on things. Okay. But if they're if they've seen the show, they don't have to necessarily have an encyclopedic knowledge of, of the show mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. um, partly because we are moving forward. So, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But uh, but I've I've been. Particularly with the scripts, making a concerted effort to, to try to make it accessible. Uh -huh. um, I don't know how successful I'm being, but I'm at least <laughs> making the effort. <laughs> well, do you have anything else coming up that you're excited about? Uh, I'm also, also for Boom, I'm doing uh, the first story arc in a new Cars comic based on oh, the Pixar cool. film. Uh, it's being relaunched in August as uh -huh. Cars The Adventures of Tomater. And I wrote the first uh, story arc called uh, Rust Bucket Rally. Nice. Uh, where uh, Mater and Bubba get into a contest. Um, with, uh, with 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 high stakes, at least for Mater, because uh, Bubba still has his group. So, um, and also there's a uh, subplot involving Red, the fire truck, who's accused of theft, and Sally has to defend her. So, nice. all of Radiator Springs is brought. 
to a halt because Red is such a sweet fire truck. He wouldn't steal. Of course. So, so it's a lot of fun. They're good. They're fun characters to do. Well, awesome. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good con. You too.